Are you like me? Do you get hot in the summertime sometimes? I know I do. I thought today we would do something special. We're going to make iced tea. Now, I'm not sure if the pr pr correct way to say it is iced tea or iced tea. It's tea that's iced, but it's also tea with ice in it. So it's tea, ice, iced tea. We're not going to get into that debate right now. But just look, look how hot it is outside right now. Here's the thermometer right there. You see that? Take a close up of that. There you go. That's how hot it is outside. This is the perfect weather for some freshly made iced tea. Let's go do that. Well, I'm now over here in the other part of the kitchen and we're going to use a machine, a device to make the iced tea for us. It's called the Capresso Iced Tea Maker. Here it is right here. There you go. Bought this a couple years ago. I've been very happy with it. But this is the first time I'm using it this season. So this is going to be a fun experience for not only me, but you too, right? So the basic way that this works is there is a, a reservoir for the water, which is right here. Okay. Then there's a place, a little basket to put in tea bags. Right? Or you could even put in, you can put in loose leaf tea too because it is a straining filter. And then there is a pitcher. Now one of the things you got to look for is a glass pitcher, a pitcher because that makes, I think, for better tea than a plastic pitcher, right? So these are a little harder to find. That's why I chose this. There are a number of these kinds of products out on the market, but this is the only one, the Capresso, that I could find with a glass pitcher. You might think, well, what if you break it? Well, then you go buy a new pitcher, right? It's true, glass does break. But you know what I found? Plastic breaks too, right? Okay, so uh, the first thing we gotta do is we need to fill the reservoir with water. I guess there's no real order to this, except that you gotta kind of put a bunch of stuff together and then hit go. So we're gonna put some water in here. It's got a little mark on there where you put the water up to the level. Open the little door and uh, let's put the water in. Now the first thing we're going to do is rinse this out first. There we go. And it's pretty, pretty clean. It's been sitting here in the kitchen for a little while. There we go. Now we're going to put some fresh water in it. Right up to the little white mark right there. Right about there. That's a little high. I'm going to pour a little bit out. Right about there. Okay. And that takes care of the water. There we go. And there's our water. Now we're going to put that right on there. Done. Next, we're going to put our tea bags in. Tea bags will go in this strainer. I'm just going to rinse this out. There's another piece in here. We're going to rinse that out. Well, there we are now with uh, basket assembly. I'm going to put it back into the uh, receptacle. What would you call this? A, a tea, tea basket receptacle? Only goes in one way. Snaps in. And then here, just look a little closer again. That's the strainer basket then, right? A little mesh filter. You might not be able to see it very well there. I swear this goes in here somehow. Wait a minute. Something is not going in somewhere. What are we doing wrong? 
Oh, I had, the, I had the little piece sticking out the wrong way. Okay, there it is. Now we need the T. For our purposes today of our uh, demonstration, we're going to use this. This is uh, Celestial Seasonings Wild Berry Zinger. Um, it's a herbal tea. It's very flavorful. It's uh, it's like it's like drinking a, a patch of flowers. It's delicious. I haven't had it yet this season. This is going to be exciting stuff. It also makes very nice hot tea also. All right, so we're going to use, I think, probably about six bags should be enough. If not, we can always add another bag and let it steep some more. But basically, I think six bags will be enough. So take out six bags of wild berry zinger. We put it in one, two, three, four, five. Are you counting along with me? Six. Now I lost count. <laughs> I think I put I think I put in one too many. But you know what? Well, I'm gonna check it. We don't we don't want we don't want to have any tea accidents. One, two. Three, four, five. It was six. Okay, I thought I'd put in an extra one or something. You know, you get distracted in the kitchen. It's hot outside. So, here we go. There it is. All right, and then we just close the lid like this. How about that? Now, you might be thinking, David, do you have the tea and you have the water? Is it time to, to start now? No, it's not, because the drink is iced tea, so we're going to need some ice. You might be wondering, well, where would you put the ice? I'll tell you where you're going to put it in the pitcher. Let's get some ice. Now, to do this properly, we're going to need to get ice from our freezer. Let's go take a look at what ice looks like in the freezer. Remember, it's very hot outside, so ice can be something really kind of neat. Let's go take a look. All right, freezer. Well, there's the freezer, and there is the ice maker. Now, um, normally what I do is I use my bare hands to do this. So you know what I'm going to do first? You're right, we're going to wash up first. All right, we're going to wash her. We're going to wash our hands first. Okay. We're now, we're working with some, some clean hands. All right. Let's go to the freezer. Okay. There's the freezer. There's the ice maker. I'm going to show you what the ice looks like. Look at that ice. Doesn't that look delicious? Fresh, pure, frozen water. Doesn't that look yummy? Mm -mm. We could just spend all day in here during this hot summer day. We could just spend all day in the freezer. Shall we do that? Shall I just pull up a chair and sit in the freezer? Would that be fun? No, I would get cold. So now we got this and we're going to do this. Now, there's, on this glass pitcher, there's a little tiny mark that says how far you should do the ice right there. Now, you might be thinking, David, you're making iced tea. Shouldn't you be wearing rubber gloves to grab the ice? Shouldn't you be using a mechanical crane kind of tool to be getting the ice out of there? No, I have clean hands. Very clean hands. And you know what? This ice is so cold, it's hurting my fingers. This is this is cold. Now, don't you be looking at that container of Briar's ice cream either. It's my ice cream. This is this is taking a long time. 
This is fresh ice too. I had the uh, ice maker just make this. The ice maker is another machine. It's not a person I hire or anything like that. Oh, it really hurts. Oh, that is really cold. You know when it's so cold that it hurts? That's where I am right now. Yes. Ah. ah. Oh, the things we do for reality videos, right? Oh my God. Oh, one, just one more hit. Oh gosh, that really hurts. Okay. That was a lot of work. It is very hot outside. We are gonna make some tea here. It's, we're almost ready. You're probably sitting back watching this going, would you just make some tea? Well, we're gonna do that. I put the lid back on. So there it is, that's our pitcher of ice. How about that? That's not so hard, is it, right? Let's go back over here. Okay, here we are back at the ice tea maker with the pitcher, fresh, fresh ice. All right, there it is right there. We are gonna plug it in. A little bit of spilled water here. I'm just gonna clean up that spilled water. We don't want any trouble. And we're gonna plug this in. Here we go. There's only one button to press on this unit and once you do, the brewing process starts immediately. You'll notice in this time-lapse video that the water reservoir is emptying on the right-hand side and the pitcher is filling on the left-hand side. It usually takes about five minutes to brew a pitcher of tea. I let the pitcher typically sit for about three to five minutes or so just to catch any remaining drips in the basket. This sound here represents that the brewing process is basically complete and it's time for tea. Remember that the top basket area is hot and the pitcher below is cold. Well, it looks like the tea is ready. You know what this basically is, it's just like a, it's just like a um, typical coffee maker. It takes the cold water, heats it up to about a boiling point, pours it down through the tea bags for the steeping, and then it gets down and lends down on the, uh, on the ice cubes. It gets poured, the hot tea gets poured under the ice cubes. And what do you know? It cools it right down. So that's it. It's ready to go. Got to be careful. This is a little hot right now, right? There's some steam rising up off of there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's hot. So, but the tea is ice cold, right? There is a pitcher of delicious wild berry zinger iced tea. I think we should go have some. Okay. We have been waiting for this. It is hot outside. Let's have some iced tea. I'm gonna just, nice close up of pouring in. How about that, huh? It's summertime. That is a that is a delicious chilled beverage right there. Mm. Wow. Well, that completes our iced tea demonstration, and I hope you uh, get a moment, get some time, to enjoy some freshly brewed iced tea. We'll see you next time.